Hey, Philip here. This is a new experiment by me. It's called Snippets and it's me basically talking to the camera for a few minutes um, every week. I hope that I'll be able to do it almost every week. Uh, this is my way to stay connected and to kind of stay true and be motivated to always make progress on my game and on my other projects and also just to you know keep uh, uh, yeah keep everyone informed so this one is going to be not necessarily like a standard one because it's the first one I want to explain what this is about and I want to show you what uh, you can expect it's not going to be a fast-paced amazingly edited thing that you will just you know uh that that will entertain you the whole time this is going to be more of a video log kind of thing and i expect i i completely expect people to kind of zone out and maybe only see it if they really have nothing else to watch on youtube which would be a surprise so snippets is something that uh, uh people do uh, especially at Google, I learned that at Google, every week you would write down what you were working on the last week and then what you were you wanted to work on the next week. This was not something that you had to do, and most of my managers never actually asked for it. Uh, but I did it anyway because I found it very, very good in terms of motivation, in terms of kind of staying with a big picture. And snippets is basically that right um but th th what i'm doing here is is that except you're not my manager but and also i'm not writing it down as a text file i am talking to you like this the thing is another reason why the first snippets video is going to be unusual is that last week i did not do much. <laughs> no, actually, no, no, that's not true. I There was Flutter Firebase Festival in Prague last week and I showed off my game and uh, then there was, uh, that was basically three days of my time and then there was a national holiday and then uh, my kid got a little sick, not, 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 not a big deal, but um, I did not have a lot of time to work. So, um, so not um, not much to talk about in this respect. I will come back to giant robot game, but I want to talk more about like productivity and snippets and stuff like this. I think snippets really helps. Another thing that I kind of stole from one of the getting things done books, which I don't follow to the letter, but one of the things that really helps me is what's called to do today which is basically every day, uh, I try to do it every day, I come to, to work and I take a blank A4 or letter paper for those imperial uh, measurement fans out there and I just write things that I need to do that day. Uh, not in any, it's important that I don't write it in a linear fashion, it needs to be all over the page. Uh, and then I take my three trusty pens, that's just two, <laughs> uh, but there's another one, and uh, I do red, out, uh, red for like something that I have to absolutely do, things like, oh, I have actually scheduled a meeting with someone, so I have to be there, right? Or I agreed to pick up the kid in the evening, I have to be there. Or something like, no, I, I totally, like, this is the most important part of this day. Like, I have to implement X in Giant Robot Game. That's another red one, right? These are kind of non-negotiable, and unless the building is on fire, I should really do them. Then there's the blue ones. These are, you know, I, sh I should probably do them, but no one's going to die if I don't. And then there are the, the black ones, like the, the least colorful ones, that I just do if there's time. When like when I'm planning in the in the morning, I'm like, ah, oh, maybe I'll get to that, and so I'll just 
just right now. And then I look at this and then I use just lines to connect all the nodes. So that's why it's not linear and that's why it like kind of looks pretty crazy, but it's really the easiest and fastest and most visceral way to plan your day. And, uh, and it's, it's nice. It's nice when it's on a paper like this. I, uh, yeah, I also, when, when I'm done with something, I just, you know, scratched over it. And that's also more satisfying than using a computer. So, so that's the, the first part of my getting things done experience. And then of course I have to do this and, uh, I have some, um, maybe things like, uh, al almost like a Pomodoro method where I, uh, when I say, okay, the next 20 minutes or an hour, I will just work and then I'll have a break and then I just work and then I have a break and so on. Um, uh, and yeah, I think that's it. And then there's the snippets. Um, yeah, yeah. So kind of like this rhythm every, every day and then every week uh, for the snippets. I think that's it. All right, uh, next up is last week's Flutter Firebase Festival. It was fantastic to see a lot of people from the Flutter community that I, you know, spent a lot of time with in the past and the, hopefully in the future as well. Uh, that was great to see them here in Prague, in my hometown, and uh, to be able to actually show them my game. A lot of people were probably really they were surprised that this is a flutter game so that's this this is the state in which i showed the game to people i had a booth at which i had i was for two days straight and uh, i let people play and this is how it um how it looked like i have a tutorial that is not great but kind of works if you're if you're like in the same headspace as me, then uh, you will you will make it work. This obviously was running full screen everything, and uh, a lot of people just uh, did just did mayhem. <laughs> so uh, that but that was good to see. Uh, I most the the main reason that I did this was that I was able to write down a lot of little not little bugs basically bugs and things that were didn't make sense to to people i did this before at a different non flutter event where i showed the game as well and uh that worked also really well and i did not have uh <laughs> uh and i did not do a lot of progress since then so unfortunately i learned a lot less than than i would have normally uh all right so but this is also where my game is at now right uh i have done a little bit but really it's not it's not that much to be honest oh cool all right yeah so training complete, this is how you can uh, win the mission. And then of course I have arena, which is basically just playing with, uh, uh, just trying to, to kill 10 enemies. Uh, so no, no, not much gameplay yet, but it's pleasantly replayable and, uh, and it kind of, you know, uh, it makes sense when you know what, what's going on. And some people, as I said, were pleasantly surprised that this actually works and how it works. Cool. All right. So I guess that's it for the snippets for today. If you have questions, if you have actually, uh, let me, uh, let me pause this. If you have like getting things done, little things like to do today, I would be interested to know them. Uh, please comment uh, below the video. I, and I think a lot of other people would also be interested to know them. 
And if you have questions about all this, uh, write them down. I will. I don't necessarily reply to all the comments on YouTube, but I definitely read them all. And next time, I will be able to maybe re um, reply to some of the comments in a video like this. Anyway, I hope that it, this was interesting for at least a, a few people. I really want this to be super easy for me to, to do. So it's not very polished, but you know, that's life. And uh, that's, you have to, I, I, I could spend the day to, to just make a video like this, or I could just do it my, much quicker. Hopefully this works. Okay, well, thanks for watching and see you next time.